today's a day where we start on the rigging of the rat lines and certainly lots of patience is required. Uh, the process that we're going to follow is to do the main rat lines first, then go to the upper and then come across to the mizzen and do the same thing. So let's get started. We've installed the shroud button um, which should provide some stability as we start rigging the rat lines. How we keep the line straight is we go on the plan and just drop a series of lines that match the rat line plan approximately five millimeters apart and then using a clove hitch we um, tie clove hitches on each one. Again don't try to be too tight on the string leave enough string on the ends that don't leave you fighting to get the last clove hitch in. To give you a feel for the challenge ahead, I'm just going to do one line totally uninterrupted and that will give you some idea. If it all goes well, it's about two to three minutes uh, to do a line. And here we go now. I'm just trying to line up the first one correctly, just as a guide. You can adjust them as you go along because you're not going to stick them for a while. Remember this not include the running box. So you have to stay outside the running box. And I like to put a tight knot in now. And so if I have any adjustments to do I do it now. I found that in the past if I left a slack knot, it's a real pain to get rid of the sagginess in the line. So you see the two pitches actually, once you get used to it, they're actually not bad and you can get into a routine and do quite a few. That noise you hear in the background is rain, it's absolutely pouring, so it's a great day to do the rat lines. So there we have it and we are 2 minutes 21 seconds to do 5 flow pitches. Just remember that on the 6th line it actually does attach to the main running box whereas all the other lines stop on the 5th shroud. And you can you push the paper up against it and just align everything up. And that's the great thing of this method. You're always pretty well on top. And there's one of those fat knots I was telling you that I hate. Now I'm going to end up with more sag here than I really want. The length of each rat line is always a magic number. Um, my formula is the length of the line plus 9 centimeters. Um, that gives me a little extra piece, about 15-20 centimeters on this uh, um, 15-20 millimeters on this side and the same thing on the other side. Um, it tends, that tends to be too much as you go up, but that's just my rule of thought for um, for doing these and you can see 
I'm ending up here with about three centimeters, which is probably a little long. What you don't want to be is, is short. We um, added the diluted PVA glue, put it on, left it for about six hours, and then came back and cut all the ends off. And um, as you can see, it really came out very nice. And we're going to start working on the other side. This silhouette really gives you a good idea of what's involved. Um, we're halfway through the starboard side on the main mast and uh, hopefully we'll finish that sometime this morning. The, as you get halfway up, the strings are now, it's probably about 11 millimeters. So. And we're ready to start trimming the ends off. 